What's up guys? My name is Michael and in this video we're gonna solve the problem that Capture One won't bring you to the next or to the previous image if you press the cursors on your keyboard. But first let's have a look at my new intro. Oh my God, I really like this new intro. I hope you like it too. And by the way, we have to talk about some thing regarding this channel. Um, I'm probably gonna move my Capture One content to another channel. And uh, I will link this channel right here. No, it's here. And um, in the video description as well. So if you like to stay tuned regarding Capture One content, make sure you subscribe to that channel right now. Before we get started, let me talk a little bit about what I have been up to in the last few days and weeks. My shop for presets is also available in English, which means that you can now download my Capture One style packs in my shop in English. I will link the shop in the description. And if you would like to test some of my styles, I will give away some of these styles for free. All you have to do is subscribe to the newsletter, which will be in German, but I think you'll manage. <laughs> and in that shop, you will also find my latest style pack the Paris style pack, which is not only suitable for images from Paris, but for architecture, travel and landscape. Of course, it fits very, very well. Go ahead, check it out. I'm sure you will like it. So let's talk about the problem in Capture One Pro right now. So I'm currently in Capture One Pro and I have an image full size. So if I press the arrow key to the right, nothing happens. If I display my, uh, my browser and I click on a thumbnail, then I can move through my images with the arrow keys on my keyboard. So we want to change that behavior. We want to be able to move through the images, even if the browser is not visible. So let me explain to you why this happens. Now, phase one has decided that the arrow keys are not used for this function. So the keyboard shortcut, they decided for you to be used to get to the next or previous image is command left or command right. So if I remove the browser, I can use command left and command right it works without any problems. But honestly, most of you might be used to use the arrow keys. So let's go ahead and change that. So for that reason, we're gonna go into the menu, select edit, edit keyboard shortcuts. And then we go to select. And as you can see, previous and next is defined with command right and command left. So you can just click in there and press the left arrow and you will get this key assigned to this function, which is basically what you want. So you do that for the next and for the previous, you close that and you're done. By the way, you can see some images right here, which I shot in Iceland. And I think some of you might follow me on Instagram. If not, please go ahead. And I'm gonna release an Iceland style pack pretty soon. I mean, it's already finished, but it has to find its way into the shop. So make sure you check my shop once, like every week or so. So you will see it's gonna be there pretty soon. And by the way, if you're using Capture One as a trial version right now, go ahead, write me an email to c1 at pixelcatcher.de and um, yeah, maybe I will have a discount code or some other goodie for you. We'll see. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Have a great time and see you next week or tomorrow or we'll see. Make sure you subscribe and you will get notified. Goodbye.